Hello and welcome. My name is Ricardo Valls. I'm the principal and founder of Algeo Consultant. And I'm here today to share with you a method that I thought that could be very useful for those of you that are working in the field and are doing heavy mineral concentrates. And I have done that many, many times. One of the most difficult things is to properly or let's say objectively estimate the amount of gold that is in your pan uh, or how they call it, the colors. With experience, it becomes easier. But for those of you that are just starting or for everybody, I came out with this method that I would like to share with you. So it's very simple. You first need to download two free software. The first one is GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you get there by gimp.com. I'm gonna put the link here in the, in the description. And also you're gonna need a second program, which is called ImageJ, okay? And again, I'm gonna put the link for it. So. What is the method? You can do this in the field, but it's, I think it's better to do it on a more controlled environment where you can have better illumination. But the idea is to get your sample distributed on a flat surface, well lighted, well illuminated, illuminated and then take a good picture of it. You know, normal picture, and then scan that image, or maybe you took the picture with your iPhone, it's already digitalized. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that picture and open it with GIMP, okay? And I have GIMP here open, and I have a picture of a, a pan. So I'm gonna go here to archive, open. That is my picture. And this is the image. The next step that we need to do is just to double click on the gold or the mineral that we're looking for. Here is a very good uh, grain of gold. So I double click. And as you can see, the program immediately select all the other pieces that have same coloration as this one. This is of course not perfect, but it gives you a very good idea. Once you have this selected, then you go to, uh, again, Seleccionar and select this, which is Save in a Channel, okay? And now you hook here to the right, you see you have the red, green, and blue. Just unclick these three things, and what you get is a black surface where all the grains of gold are selected here as pixels. So we finalize this part by saving this, save, export as, export as, and you will export it as a PNG. It's better to export it as a PNG. I have it here, gold PNG, say export, and just select this as it is, sport, and that's it. We finish with uh, GIMP. Now you open image J. I'm gonna close, don't need to save anything. You open the image J, you go to file, open, and you select the PNG file that we just save, which is here. And then you go to analyze histogram and you get an histogram of all your pixels of this image. The next steps are very simple. You click on list and on the top of your list, you're gonna have the total amount of black pixels. And at the bottom, you're gonna get the total amount of the white pixels. So, the next operations are the following. First, you zoom both numbers. 
in order to get the total amount of pixels. Then you just take this number, 766, multiply it by 100, and divide it by the total amount of pixels. And that will give you the amount in percentage of gold in this image. Let's do this ourselves. So the first number, let me write it down, is 346.096. And the total amount of gold is 766. So 6 by 6 is 12, 16, 8. So the total amount will be 346,882. So if I go to my calculator and I say 76 multiplied by 100 divided by 346882, it will be 0.22% of gold in this sample. If you have also the weight of the sample, you can multiply that by the weight and you, would, you can get the grams of gold, and then you can convert that to ounces of gold in your pan. So it's not an exact method, but it's a very simple and quick method to estimate the relative gold content on your pans. I hope this small, small video was useful for you. You can contact me at valsvg at gmail.com and on my YouTube channel, which I will put the link here. Okay, great. Have a great day. I think these videos are brilliant and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell.